What did I do with the Vivate the other night? Oh, yeah. oh amazing. amazing. Kicked that old broken down pile of crap. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's a bad guy. He just quit, you know. He's quitting the rest. Is that right? Yep. I got him out of the right. And that means we have Kamala. Uh, I think she's going to be better. She's so bad. She's so <laughs> pathetic. I just can't imagine. But can you imagine that guy with dealing with Putin and the president of China, who's a fierce person? He's a fierce man. A very tough guy. And they see him, they probably they can't. But it, it, they just announced he's, he's probably quitting. Good. Very good. Yeah, that's amazing. Just keep knocking him out. Right? An interesting yeah. theory out there. Uh, that Trump picked the, the last song right, uh, Nessun Dor Dorma, uh, to send a message to deep state actors, in part because it was at the end of the movie, Some of Our Fe uh, All Fears, and we know that movie was about getting rid of terrorists and deep state actors. You're part of the communications team. Have you guys thought it through that much? <laughs> I can either firm, confirm or deny it's classified. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You did hear, though, from First Lady Melania Trump earlier in the week. She mentioned her husband is a, a lover of music. How beautiful. The, the drama of opera so beautiful. But I'll leave you with this. President Trump did say last night, for far too long, the American people have expected and accepted far too little from their own government. We know part of his, his message is to drain the swamp and return government to being of form by the people. And uh, how poetic and operatic is yeah. that? I mean, on social media, when you said that they're not going to, um, they're going to take Biden out, and it's not going to be news. Oh, not be this is a longer story. It takes a dark turn, but I think it's, I know, I mean, I have a good sense of what's going to happen here. Okay. They're leading into trap. They're not going to let Trump get anywhere near the White House. They're not going to let him. What about so the goal is, you know, have him be the nominee, and by hell or high water, one way or another, they're not going to have him, they're not going to let him. What about the other two, though? It's not them. Who is it? It's within our own party. Okay. okay. It's within our own party? Yes, it is. Okay. Hey, look at the people who, are, who voted to keep Trump off the ballot. Who are they putting up? Who are lawsuits to keep him off the ballot? Larry Fink to Reed Hoffman. Who are they propping up? So it's a game. And I'm not going to, I'm in this to make sure that that doesn't happen. But they want it to be two horse race, eliminate him, put up actually the Trojan horse within the Republican Party that keeps the war machine humming and keeps the restrictions on speech and the censorship agenda, get it done. Who needs Democrats when you can get it done through the Republican Party? Okay. So you do the math. Okay. You do the math on that. Okay. That's and I'm just bringing you a quick video on Biden dropping out, because I know a lot of you are going to be asking for it. Soon as he speaks, I'll do a Patreon video on the matter. But I'm just going to touch bases on two scenarios. Let's get into the video. Welcome, Welcome to the crypto, crypto teacher. teacher. And you know I come back with that video just to make you think. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And make sure you join the Patrons. If you're not a part of Patrons, make sure you're hitting the cash out. But guys, it is imperative for you to join the Patrons. We can see this movie is getting better and better. And you definitely want to get your sales prepared. The sheep are definitely being set up and make sure you go like and follow my TikTok. get it everywhere because guys this is all about the rise of the machines but we have biden drops out and now we can have two scenarios and it all depends on what he says when he does his speech if he says it's for political reasons he wants his party to move on then yes we'll have an election but if anything medical pops up then this movie is about to get even more interesting because that means that he shouldn't be president right now. And that means they would kick in this 25th Amendment, which would make Kamala Harris the president. And of course, guys, we got the drums are beaten. We have cyber attacks that would stop any election. Now, let's say if he does say it's political, then Trump would win. And let's say if we get a Republican House and a Republican Senate, they can steamroll this fourth industrial revolution. But if he says it's medical, he would step aside now and the fourth industrial revolution machine would start now. Some type of crisis, some type of distraction would delay these elections. And remember the crypto teacher told you, and I know it sounds like a movie, but remember, your life is an illusion, and TV is your reality. And remember, the crypto teacher told you, because he knows when it comes to the NWO, 
It's all planned out. You have a wonderful day. Across on social media right now, breaking news, and we'll address the country later this week about next steps. He intends to fulfill the remainder of his term. Kristen, your reaction to this bombshell And news. it's from him on... I was just told in my ear, and that's what's breaking on the wires no, right I, now. I think... You know, I think it's an enormous opportunity for our party, and I always think it's really important to have two strong um, people on in, in the Republican Party and the Democratic Party to have a strong debate, and, and let's figure out who's best to run this country. At the end of the day, we are all Americans, and we want to move forward. I hope that my party, the Democratic Party, can use this time as an opportunity to have a debate and have somebody emerge as a candidate who can go toe to toe with former President Trump in a productive way, so that everybody in this country has a decision to make, and they 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 look at it and they can decide, and they, you know, they want to know how they want to move forward. So we've heard thirty-seven Democrats come forward calling on him to step aside. Mm -hmm. The money people have made it clear that they're done giving money to him as a candidate. Um, is it a surprise that he has reached this decision? No, I'm just wondering what's in it for him. You know, he's he's facing a, a lot of trouble. He needs to stay in office because of Hunter, uh, because of his own brother. So I'm just curious what what was the final breaking point that got him to agree to this? That's what I am most curious about at this point. And I he said the only reason he would step down is for medical reasons. If he is stepping down for medical reasons, and you're one of the only people that I've heard that have said that he would be stepping down for political reasons. He has never said, I, I don't think I'm what's best for the party at this point in time. He has literally said it's only for medical purposes. If it is for medical purposes, he shouldn't continue to run the party because he's putting our, or run the country because he's putting our entire country at risk um, from a security standpoint, from a mental, Can from I a health clear, when standpoint. When I say political reasons, it's not just nefarious. Well, the reasons are listening to your constituents and listening to the people. That they're right? going to lose the Senate and House, which you just mentioned. Yes, of course. And that is who, how you're talking to people and how they're responding to the president. So is, there is nothing nefarious. Going to a different economy. And we're going to be learning more about that uh, as we go. But clearly, we're, we're, we're learning that things can be done uh, from remote, remote locations. We're learning that technology can replace people even more than we thought. We're not going back to the same economy. We're going, we're recovering, but to a different economy. And it'll be one that is more leveraged to technology. And I worry that that is going to make it even more difficult than it was for, for many workers. In Silicon Valley and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers, we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, the truck drivers, and then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance agents, lawyers, and on and on through the economy. So what happened to the manufacturing workers is a very clear sign. And so we'll import Chinese-based CBDC technology. So it's going to be CBDC in a box uh, provided to you by the People's Bank of China. But every stock, every bond, every currency, every commodity, every piece of art, every private business, every piece of real estate will eventually be a token on a blockchain, an entry on a ledger, permanent and immutable. We will have truth instead of trust, and we will save over $7 trillion a year. Six to eight percent of global GDP is wasted by the friction of the trust industry that's necessary when you have dual entry accounting. With triple entry accounting, which is what a blockchain is, mm -hmm. we get rid of all of that friction. It's a beautiful future. Like what you see in China and their social credit scoring systems, right? If we get identity wrong, you know, it could be a tool to enslave humanity. And if we get it right, it could be a tool to liberate humanity as an American. You know, uh, uh, I'm obviously rooting for the, the one that's on the side of freedom. Bitcoin is an international asset. And also, I do believe the role of crypto is, um, it is, it, it is it's digitizing gold. I actually believe this technology is going to be very important. I am, I, you know, look at it. We have been part of a huge revolution in investing through ETFs. We believe that ETFs will be changing the whole way we invest. Many people still use it as a means, well, people are investing it f for indexing. No, the majority of people who are putting money in an index, in an ETFs are active investors that are buying exposure. The entire bond market is 
being transformed as we talk right now. I believe the next generation for markets, the next generation for securities will be, will be tokenization of securities. Um, we will, and if we could have that distributed ledger that we know every beneficial owner, every beneficial uh, seller, we all have our, our, our code right. of who's buying, who's selling, instantaneous settlement. And think about it, it changes the whole ecosystem. Chinese bank ICBC has been hit by a ransomware attack, and the U.S. Treasury market, as a result of that, um, has been disrupted. This, according to the Financial Times, we're, we're getting more right now with Bloomberg's Shanali Basic. Shanali, what do we know? Uh, listen, we have the Financial Times now reporting that ICBC, one of China's largest banks here, was hit with a ransomware attack. And remember, they're a, a very significant intermediary in the Treasury market. The SIFMA has told as members that this has been part of the reason here uh, that the system is kind of clogged up, if you will, during that auction that we saw a little bit before. The attack had prevented ICBC, according to the Financial Times, from settling treasury trades on behalf of other market participants. A large executive at a major bank also telling the paper that such a large party on the fixed income clearing corp uh, creates major concerns, potentially impacting the liquidity of treasury markets. Now it was not just the poor auction. It was absolutely lousy, and, and uh, uh, you know, when, when the dealers have to step in to save a treasury auction, uh, that's a rare occurrence. And Crypto teacher and the new world order book, plus the three kids' books, it's time to re-educate. Also, new to cryptos, Coinbase, Bitchu, Binance. Do not forget book links and crypto links are in the description. The stock channel, guys. Don't forget to go like, subscribe, spread everywhere. You have your Kobo, your chip size, your banking, your gaming, while everybody's sitting at home, get on stocks, the receiver, the biotech stocks, and while everybody's at home wishing, they were still getting that free money. What are they doing? Drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks, and you have a wonderful day. The most powerful person in the world is the storyteller. The storyteller sets the vision, values, and agenda of an entire generation to come. Steve Jobs. And guys, you know I truly believe in this. When you look at the New World Order, they're the storytellers. And that's the reason why I wrote my New World Order book. But guys, now it's time to change the current generation. And I wrote three kids' books. You know, I love the Trinity because I understand the power that's in it. So I have three books. We have an opportunity to change the generation, to educate, not just me, but I want to show you that I take action on a daily basis. And I want you to take action on a daily basis, whether it's your job, whether it's in your community. We have an opportunity right now to educate the masses. I posted this on my Twitter account. Please share. But this is a short clip of the three books. There's going to be a clothing line and action figure. Please get these books for your kids, nephews, cousins, friends. So therefore, we can start the re-education now. Because as we see, the fourth industrial revolution foundation is definitely here. Robots, algorithms, drones, taking humanity out the picture. We have to re-educate. But let's get into the video. Part one, King Joshua and Grandma Tim. Save the village. Part two, King Joshua and Grandma Tim. Save New York. Long COVID-33, part three. King Joshua and Grandma Tim goes to China. It's mandatory to get part one, part two, and part three of this series. It's time to re-educate Generation Z.